Amen. I would encourage you all to turn with me in your Bibles to 1 Kings chapter 5. 1 Kings chapter 5 as we continue on in the book of 1 Kings. Now, I'm sure I am not telling you anything that you don't already know when I say that in the ancient world, in the time of Solomon, they did not have email. They did not have text. They had no phones. Uh, they did not have even uh, you know, the most rudimentary of applications that would enable them electronically or through the ethernet or whatever to uh, converse with one another. However, they did have their own version of sandal net. Uh, what would happen would be that when a king or some official wanted to communicate with someone else, he would write down on a clay tablet in Akkadian or some other lingua franca that everybody understood in the area, he would write down his message and then he would seal it uh, with his own personal seal and then send it off by somebody actually walking all the distance to that other person and delivering the clay tablet to them. So for instance, when the Hittite, uh, when the Hittite capital of Hattusa was discovered in Anatolia, which is modern day Turkey, they were amazed to find all of these thousands of them. They're, they're actually, you know, they're about cell phone size, most of them, little clay tablets that were dealing with all the minutia, not only of government, but of building things, of buying things, records of, of stuff that uh, had been uh, maintained or given to the king, receipts and so on, and a lot of communications, a lot of uh, communications between various kings and so on. And here we are going to read about a uh, communication that went between Hiram, king of Tyre, and Solomon over something very important, a building project that was near and dear to Solomon.